Hi guys, it's me, the Pecan Tan Beauty, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a hairstyle that I go to to camouflage needing a relaxer. So right now I am about five weeks post relaxer, so it's almost time for me to relax in about another week or so. So I always struggle with how to do my hair when it's time for a relaxer because the edges don't lay down, the back doesn't lay down. So I try to be creative and come up with hairstyles that don't necessarily have to be flat in order for them to look good. So this is one that I just kind of played around with. Um, this is a hairstyle that I have in my razor cutting hair video and I will put the link below for that. And a lot of you guys asked me to do a tutorial on it so I thought that I would do it today because this is the perfect time to do it to help camouflage some of the new growth that I have going on. And another important thing is, is when you're post relaxer and it's almost time to relax is you want to make sure that your hair dries completely under the dryer. And I do not recommend letting it air dry because sometimes when you put your wrap strip on and you're letting it air dry, it tends to revert quicker. So if you go ahead and wrap your hair using your foaming wrap lotion or your favorite setting lotion and put your wrap strip on your hair and sit under the dryer immediately and let your hair dry, when it dries, it's going to take the shape of how you already have it molded. And it's going to make sure that that new growth stays down, gets stretched out, and then also dry a little bit straighter. So it's going to make your hair look a little bit straight, even though it's relaxer time. So that works for me. If you're interested in how I created this look on how I camouflage needing a relaxer, then stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's get started. So right now I am just applying some virgin coconut oil to my hair um, just as a moisturizer. Coconut oil is an excellent moisturizer for your skin and also your hair. Now I'm just brushing it down just to loosen it up a bit from the wrapping lotion. Now I'm just combing it down in place. So I take a little bit of my Cantu Shea Butter flat iron spray just to give it a little bit of hold. So now I'll begin with my mini flat iron. And if you notice how I am holding the curls up for a few seconds after I curl it, what that does is it allows the hair to cool down a little bit. So the curl actually forms like you curl it. So that's some of the reason why I don't really use a lot of hairspray or anything because I let my curls cool down, which means my hair pretty much stays put. So now I'm just working my way around and there I go again, holding that curl up to allow it some cool down time. So it forms a nice curl. And I'm just working my way all the way down. And if you notice, my hair does have some new growth. Like I said, I'm about four and a half, five weeks post relaxer. I normally relax between every five and six weeks. So I have about another week or so until it's relaxer time. So with these side curls, I am curling them a little bit to the front. If you notice how I'm taking the flat iron and I'm moving the flat iron towards the face versus going straight down. Okay, then I just start on the other side. 
And then basically what I'm doing is I am just following the shape of my head with my curls. So you just want to take your flat iron as far as you can in the back without burning yourself. And these curls here, you want to bring them forward and slightly to the middle of your head. See how I'm curling it in a sideways position, but I'm dragging the flat iron closer to the front and the middle. And I'm doing this because I think this direction fits my shape, fits the shape of my face better. So now I'm just starting at the top and I am taking those curls and I'm curling them forward into the center. This way it'll give me some height as well, it'll give me some more directions to style it in. Because this hairstyle is not necessarily going to be a neat hairstyle. It's just going to be a hairstyle that doesn't require my hair to be flat. Because normally if I were to wear it totally flat right now or curl it flat, it'll be really poofy, kind of. I don't know, like a church hat or something, and that's not the look that I'm going for. So I am curling it in different directions. And there's not a science to this. You just basically look at the shape of your face and just kind of picture the hair in the direction that fits your face shape best. So see that curl? I'm actually curling it backwards because I want some curls going forward and some going back off of the face. This hairstyle also works for me because when I go to the gym, I don't have to worry about sweaty bangs or hair getting in my face or anything like that. So this is a perfect gym hairstyle and what you can do too is you can take a mesh wrap strip and you can put that on there while you work out. So now it's style time. <laughs> 